G'day and welcome to another edition of Hef's Beer Reviews. Today I'm reviewing this beer here. It's from Four Pines Brewing. It's their Dark Lager. It is a limited release, although something to keep in mind, they have done this one before. I'm not sure if it's uh, the recipe was exactly the same. It was released uh, in the bottle as a Schwartz beer. This one, uh, they're calling a dark lager, but I think it's a Schwartz beer as well. Obviously, in this very attractive black and gold can, 375 mils, 4.5% is the ABV, 1.3 standard drinks. I actually wasn't aware that this one had been released, but I did see a review from Goody. If you haven't checked out his channel, Goody's Craft Beer Reviews, make sure you check it out uploads very frequently so uh, definitely check him out if you have the chance anyway that's enough yakking let's crack it open pour it into this chilled schooner glass okay it is a Dark, it looks darker on camera. Um, it's a, a reasonably dark beer. It's not jet black. I uh, can see, uh, it's not really showing up on the camera, but you can see a little bit of light getting in there. We've got uh, under a finger of tan head. On the nose, chocolate, coffee. That's about it. Smells pretty good. Looks pretty good. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. All right. Uh, look, in terms of flavor profile, that initial taste is very reminiscent of a two is old. I'd say the body's medium. Um, there's not much bitterness to speak of. There is quite a, a, a dry finish though. So there's chocolate, coffee, um, but I reckon without it, without knowing, uh, to my taste, I would assume that there is a whack of one of the crystal malts in there that just kind of takes the edge off the dark malts, gives it a bit a more rounded taste profile, if you know what I mean. Um, there's almost a hint in there too of tobacco, um, which I get a little bit of in Two Is Old as well. It's more carbonated than Two Is Old, and obviously it's got that crisper, dry finish. Uh, it's not super crisp, but, um, you know, obviously being a lager, as opposed to an ale. Uh, it is a, a, a bit more of a snappy finish, as Jez would say. Overall, very pleasant. 4.5% uh, absolutely, 100% sessionable. I could easily knock down a few of these. The price point was very good. Uh, it might not sound great to some international viewers, but I picked up a four pack from Dan Murphy's for sixteen dollars. Sixteen dollars for a craft beer for a four pack, uh, four bucks a can. That's really good. So uh, I was very pleased with that. As I said, it says limited release, um, but if uh, if my local Dan Murphy's is anything to go by, then I don't think you'd have too much trouble finding it. Um, Four Pines, of course, these days owned by Asahi, so their distribution is pretty good. The brewery itself uh, is in Manly on the northern beaches of Sydney. It's a nice venue. If you're in the area, make sure you check it out. Uh, I lived in that part of the world for a long time. I've uh, been there a couple of times and uh, can recommend it. One more sip, we'll give it a score. If you're a fan of Two Is Old or Carlton Black or beers like that uh, and you're in Australia, especially New South Wales, I think you'd like this one. Definitely one worth checking out. 
even if you're not a huge fan of dark beer, I find something like this is pretty approachable, uh, even for your everyday lager drinker. It's uh, there's nothing too harsh about those flavors. Um, in terms of a score, look, it's it's not as good as some of your German examples, um, but for a local version, it's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to enjoy this one. I'm going to give it a four out of five for the Dark Lager from Four Pines. Um, thanks for watching. Of course, again, check out Goody's channel if you can, and uh, we'll catch you next time on Hef's Beer Reviews.